In this video, we are going to understand how can you create subscriber InfloDisk for product purchase in ThriveCart. So here my objective is every time a product is purchased in ThriveCart, then the user who has just made the product should be added as a subscriber here in FlowDisk and then should be added in a particular segment of FlowDisk. Now how can we do this? For this we will have to integrate these applications using Pabli Connect. So here my trigger application will be ThriveCart and then my action application will be FlowDisk. Now how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. So here we are going to understand every time a particular product is purchased through ThriveCart, then how automatically the same user can be added as a lead in FlowDisk in a particular segment. Now to do this, we have to integrate FlowDisk with ThriveCart and the same can be done using Pabli Connect. Now to understand how we can do this, let's start. This here is the landing page of Pabli Connect software. You can reach here by writing pabli.com slash connect. Now once you reach here, if you are an existing user, simply sign in. And if you are a new user, you will have to sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks so that you can explore this entire application properly. Now here I'm going to click on the sign in tab since I'm an existing user and here we have reached all applications page. Now we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on access now for Pabli Connect. And as we do that here we have reached a dashboard. On the right hand side there's a tab create workflow. Click on this. Now this dialog box has appeared and here we have to name our workflow. So what is my objective? I want to create and add a subscriber to a specific segment in Flowdesk for ThriveCart sale. So every time there's a product purchased in ThriveCart, then automatically the user who has made the purchase should be first created and added as a subscriber in Flowdesk and that too in a specific segment. So now I'm going to click on create. And as I do that here, you can see we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the automated response of our trigger application. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time you swipe your card and the payment is made, then automatically you receive an SMS or WhatsApp message about the payment made. Now this happens because of automation. In such a case, your trigger will be the payment gateway through which you are making the payment and your action application will be services through which you are receiving WhatsApp or SMS messages. Now let's come to our use case. So in this use case, our trigger application here will be ThriveCart. Let's click on this. Next is the trigger event. So the trigger event is the event that is going to make this workflow run. So what should happen so that this workflow runs product purchase. So I'm going to click on this. Here on the right hand side, it is written that this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So this basically means that this trigger application has got no polling time. So the moment a product purchase is made, then automatically this workflow is going to trigger. Now I'm going to click on connect. And as we do that, here we can see Pabli Connect wants to connect itself with ThriveCart account. For making this connection, I'm going to first select add new connection. And then here we have to provide a token. How can we receive this? First, log into your ThriveCart account. I have already done that. And once that is done, here is the hyperlink given. Please click on this. So once you do that, here you can see API keys. So let's click on view settings. Here we have to create an API key. Let's name this as integration test. And now I'm going to create API key. So you can see we have received the key. I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and paste the same here. Once done, let's click on save to set up this connection. And here we can see that ThriveCart is properly integrated with Pabli Connect. Now here we have to select the product. So let me first take you to my ThriveCart account. So this here is the ThriveCart account. Now I'm going to take you to the various products that I already have. 
So these are the various products that I have and here I'm going to look for the particular product which is PHP for beginners. So this is a course. So now here I'm going to select this product so which is PHP for beginners. Okay, so this is the product. Now the product status is test mode. Okay, now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as I do that, here we can see that it is waiting for response, which means that now we have to do a test submission in the application in order to capture the response here. Now we have to understand whether Pabli Connect and ThriveCard are properly integrated or no. And to understand this, we have to do this test submission. So now I'm going to take you back to ThriveCard. Here we have PHP for beginners. Let's click on get URL. Now I'm going to copy this URL and open this in a new tab and as I do that here you can see these are the customer details and then we have to make the payment for this particular product. So let's say the first name here is dummy. The last name here is new345. Then we have the email address which is dummy new345 at pablitudes.com. Here we have to enter the phone number once done then we have the billing address and now i'm going to click on continue now here we have reached the payment page so here i have to add the card number then let's add the cvc this is just a test card now i'm going to click on complete order so as soon as we do that here we can see that we have successfully made the purchase for php for beginners this is a one-time payment for 15 dollars so once this is done, now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here you can see we have received the response. So this here is our ThriveCard secret. Here is the account name. Then here we have the price as I take you down. So this here is the name of the product. Then here we have the currency. And then again, as I take you down here, we have the order date. Then here we have got the customer details. This is the last name. This here is the complete name. Here we have got the customer's IP address. This is the customer's ID. This here is the first name. Then again, we have the email address of the person and contact number. And here we have got the complete address. Here again, we have the name of the product. Now, once we have received this information, what do I want? This user who has just made the purchase, I want to create this user as a subscriber in Flowdesk. So here my action application will be Flowdesk. This is an excellent email marketing solution. And the action event here will be to create or update subscriber. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect wants to connect itself with the Flowdesk account. Now let's select add new connection, connect with Flowdesk. I have already logged into my Flowdesk account. So whenever you are integrating different applications, please make sure that you have already logged into those applications. So here I'm going to quickly log in once again. And once this is done, Pabli is requesting permission to access my Flowdesk account. I'm going to click on allow. And as we do that, here we can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that Flowdesk and Pabli Connect are now integrated. Now, as I take you down here, we have to enter the information. First of all, choose by which you want to create or update subscriber. So I have two options here, either email or subscriber ID. So in the previous response, I have received the email address of the person. So I'm going to select email. And here we have to enter the field value, which means that if you have selected email here, you have to enter the email address of the person. And if you have selected subscriber ID, then here you have to select the subscriber ID of the person. Now, how am I going to write it? I'm not going to write this manually. As I click on this, you can see the previous step. And here we have got the response. Now here I'm going to look for the email address and here it is. This method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. Mapping means that I already have this information in the previous step and I'm just going to retrieve it here. And now why is this important? So that every time your workflow runs in real time, then it should not take the manually written data. Instead, it should take the new data that you have received. And if I had written the same thing manually, then even when my workflow was running for the nth time, it wouldn't have taken the new data. Instead, it would have been stuck with the manually written data. So to avoid this, we map the information so that we can have the new information every time. Okay, once this is done, now let's enter this 
first name i'm going to map this once again here i'm going to look for the first name here it is then we have the last name let's look for the last name here it is then we have sent opt-in confirmation emails to subscribers so here email confirmation for new subscriber creation is typically set as no by default unless specified otherwise so you want that every time you create a new subscriber so an email should reach the person so that they can confirm and then the process should continue so if you want that you can opt for yes i have selected no here then here i'm going to add the mobile number of the person and here is the name of the company so i haven't received the name of the company if you want you can add the same this is not a required field so i'm just going to leave this blank let's click on save and send test request and as we do that here you can see we have received the response basically this here is the id status is shown as active email address then we have the source and here we have the first name last name mobile number and created date and time and now what do I want? Once the subscriber is created, I want to first go to Flowdesk and check. So let's go to audience. And yes, here you can see dummy new 345 at pablitudes.com. This subscriber has been created. And now my next objective is that I want to create the subscriber in a specific segment. So here I'm going to take you to segments. So you can see I've got different segments here, all subscribers, Thrive Cart Leads and Test. So what I'm going to do is here I'm going to choose the same application which is Flowdesk. And this time my action event will be to add existing subscriber to segment. So here I want that there is a particular subscriber and I want the person to be added in a particular segment. Here I'm going to click on connect. So here again the connection is required. I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection because we have just set up this connection. And now here we have to enter this information. So first of all the subscriber's email. So I'm going to click on this. Go to step one. Let's look for the email address. Here it is. Next is the segment. So as I click on the drop down, we have the segments that we have created. Now I want all these subscribers that I receive from Thrivecart to be added in Thrivecart leads segment. So I'm going to select this and now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as we do that here, we have received the response. So you can see here the segments name is shown, which is Thrivecart leads. Now I'm going to take you back to Flowdesk. Let's go to Thrivecart. And yes, here you can see that this particular lead is added in this segment, which means that our integration is a complete success. Now let's check the same in real time. So I'm going to take you back to Thrivecart. Okay, and I'm going to copy this URL once again, open this in a new tab here. Let's make the payment. So the first name here is smart. The last name here is new. Then we have the email address smart new at pablitudes.com then here we have the phone number and then we have the billing address i'm going to click on continue let's provide the card number and a mock cvc let's click on complete order the moment this purchase is successful now i'm going to take you to flodesk and here i'm going to quickly refresh this page so we are already in the segment thrive cart leads let's check if the subscriber is created here and yes the subscriber is now a part of my Flowdesk in which segment Thrive Card leads. So this means our integration is a complete success. And now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what we have done. So this is an extremely easy integration where your trigger application was Thrive Card. The event was product purchase. Then our action application was Flowdesk where initially we had created or updated a subscriber. And then we had added the existing subscriber to a specific segment. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us.
Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Public Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.